for more Liquid Lunch, head over to YouTube, do a search for Liquid Lunch TV, and hit that subscribe button. Hey, welcome back. Uh, we just buzzed right through hour two. Uh, you watch on Freaky Friday edition of Liquid Lunch on Newsmax TV. Um, Steve D'Angelo uh, is Bull. If you ah. were asking me, Bill was. My brother Todd's a very good friend. And uh, he's a fine entrepreneur. He started the Green Hook Gin Smiths. He provided this for us today to get a sip, see how we like it. And it's uh, fantastic. You know, it actually is pretty good. Refreshing, cold. You got to check wow. him out. Uh, maybe we'll get Bull down here. He said, uh, you know, maybe he'll uh, start promoting his brand on Liquid Lunch, and we're a perfect home for you, Bo. Absolutely. So get down here. And one of my favorite characters uh, in Nightcore. In the final segment of the day, the WTF, um, what's the facts? Frank corrects all the mistakes I made right, to um, the show. I made you made a, a couple. A few. I, I stopped paying attention after a while because I'm tired. I was uh, I, I late at a party last night, and I'm still trying to recover. You look so, like you got loaded last night, I got to tell you. Well, you were with me. I know. You stayed later than I, I, I did. I'm just saying, but you still I, look like it today. Hey, well, look. We, Didn't you have that sweater on yesterday? No. I did oh. have these pants on. Um, oh, you had those pants on? That's right. It looked like yesterday's sweater. No, no. no. You have a lot of those Don't be sweaters. silly. I do. I have four. Right. Maybe five. Let me correct one of your mistakes. No more than ten. Go ahead. That sweater with those pants. Well, I know, but the audience doesn't see the pants. That jacket is a significant you know, factor. I was almost pop. late to work today. I made it, I barely made it. I had to Uber <laughs> into work. But anyway. I got to hit him once in a while. Yes, yeah, so I can handle it. Day. I can handle it. Right. Um, now, what did I do? Uh, what did I do now? You know what, John? This has been bugging me, right? So, I don't have, so you want to make fun of Hillary Clinton's coughing, right? Yeah. Um, I don't think that's appropriate, but you I a number of viewers have pointed out to me that you're sniffing on the air a lot, like Trump. I like, have a cold right well, now. No, but you do it a lot. You do like, you have a, it's like, I don't know if it's a nervous tick, you go like that, right? Or I don't know if it's a deviated septum or what your story is. I don't know what you're doing in your off hours, but um, it, you shouldn't critique Hillary's coughing while you're sniffing. Let he who does not sniff cast the first stone. Okay. So, well, uh, whoever is annoyed by my sniffing can come down here and sniff some butt as far as I'm concerned. I'm sorry. Um, I have a cold, and I've been working it like a little while here. I'm taking two NyQuil's and two DayQuil, four pills, before the show every day to try to get it under control a little bit. But my apologies for sniffing. I'll try to get that under control. Right. I'll blow my nose a little, more, a few more times. Well, before. so Michael Bloomberg was on CBS this morning. Oh, by the way, two, two quick Morana Watch advisories. Uh, if you'll permit me, if you take a look at um, my Morano Whenever podcast, now it's in addition to this show and the radio show that I produce and the radio show that I host, I produce a, I, I do a podcast, it's called Morano Whenever. You can actually hear an exclusive interview that I did with Richard Bay in which we talk about his life and career, and this is the most comprehensive interview he's ever done. And you can check it out on my Facebook page, facebook.com slash fan. Or you can go to wherever podcasts are sold. It's free. Just type in Morano whenever. But I was just contacted by a very prominent reporter with one of the largest news organizations in America. I'm not going to say which one. And I have agreed to talk with him or her about, of all things, Michael Bloomberg this weekend. Right? And for this is going to be big, probably in, on Monday. Big news on Monday. Now, speaking of Mike Bloomberg, he was on CBS this morning earlier, and he had a pretty interesting assessment of the rest of the Democratic field when he was asked by, I believe it was Gail King, why he's running. This is Mike Bloomberg this morning. Between September and now. I looked at our national government getting worse, the way we're behaving overseas and domestically, led by our president. I said back in 2016, he is the wrong person for the job. He doesn't have the temperament or the ethics, the intellect to do the job. And I watched and I said, we just can't have another four years of this. And then I watched all the candidates and I just thought to myself, Donald Trump would eat him up. Eat him up. I think Donald Trump will eat up Mike Bloomberg like a little bite size. 
He's, you know, yeah, little Milky Ways, like the little bite-sized ones? Calling him Mini Mike. All right, um, he's calling him Mini Mike already? He is, no. Yeah. He is. You didn't know really? that? Really? Yeah. No, I didn't hear um, that. All right. So one quick update on this shooting that we've been following. Officials are giving uh, an update on this shooting in which three people is killed, and we now know that the gunman was a Saudi national who was in the United States for military training. Ouch. Here's a suggestion. Maybe we should stop training Saudi nationals. Yeah, and maybe, maybe Lindsey Graham's onto something. We should stop selling arms to the Saudis until they start acting normal. But He, uh, he doesn't say that. He doesn't say that? Rand Paul says oh, that. Rand Paul said that. All right, well, uh, there's, we, just did a, we just did an organic one. I made a mistake, and Frank fixed it on the fly. And that's what happens on WTF. What happens every week is we bring you the best of what's happening in news markets and politics. We mix it up with Democrats and Republicans. And we serve it all up to you with a special New York twist every day, Monday to Friday. It's a Freaky Friday. I want to say hello to my friend Denny Cash, a loyal viewer who's watching from home. You're all my favorite fans. Be right here Monday, same bat time, same bat channel.